What's going on, guys? My name is Matt, and welcome back to Create, Rinse, Repeat. It's only been about four months since my last video, and if you were around then when I dropped the Sony FX3 versus Sigma FP teaser, you may be scratching your head a little bit and thinking, but where's the video? He said it'd be coming next week, and it's been four months. The short answer is life got in the way. The long answer ties into the video that I'm making today, which is my New Year's resolutions for 2022 as a content creator, someone who works in video professionally. So number one, why is that video delayed? Well, there is a lot that goes into the Sigma FP and the Sony FX3 when you take them head to head. They are both very capable cameras and each one has a lot of very specific applications where it shines in comparison to the other. And I don't wanna leave anything out, so I have really been taking my time to make sure that I cover everything. The second reason is, as I said earlier, life got in the way. I recently got engaged, I work full time, I don't make YouTube videos for a living, and I started a graduate program. And each of those things on their own are kind of demanding, but all together were much more taxing on my time than I anticipated. So for all those reasons, if you've been waiting for that video, I apologize. Thank you for sticking with me. It is coming soon. I should also say that one of my uh, new taxes on time is this dude right here. Say hi, Fred. Say hi. More interesting. Oh, thanks. <laughs> This is Fred. Now, I already have a yellow lab who I got from my local animal shelter, but my fiance, who works at that animal shelter part-time, came home one day with this little dude right here. She claimed that she wanted to foster him, but the second that I saw him and her looking at him, I knew that he was going to be part of the family, and that has been the case. So, yeah, you can blame Fred right here. He's the reason why the video is delayed, so get him. You can take it, right? You're tough. He thinks he's tough. Gotta get some atmosphere in here. Gotta get some atmosphere. Pump it up. You know, I bought this fog machine for like $30 at uh, one of those Halloween stores. It's got a skull on it, and it's amazing. This thing's great. I mean, my room is not that big, but for this purpose, it's perfect. I mean, it does exactly what I need it to. It just kind of adds a little bit of depth. I love using fog or haze with lighting. One of the things I tell my students all the time is your job is to create depth. Video is a two-dimensional image. We're not in VR right now. So in order for the audience to perceive or see 3D, you have to build it for them in camera. And the way you do that is with lighting, but haze or fog can really help with that. And I love it for that application. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my New Year's resolutions for 2022. These are kind of videos I like to see and watch from other content creators. And even though I am very definitely a part-time content creator, I still wanted to talk about a few of the big things that I'm looking on improving entering the new year. I really only have a couple major things that I'm trying to keep broad enough so that they can be achieved. A lot of times, I see people approaching the New Year's with these giant sweeping resolutions that are life altering. I wanna lose 30 pounds, or I wanna go from not exercising to exercising every day of the week, or I want to make $20,000 more than I did the year before, which are all amazing goals. But the problem is if you go too big, then usually what I see happening is three weeks a month in, you get a little down on yourself because it's more challenging than you expected. And I see people quit and just throw the entire resolution away rather than making more manageable goals that you can set and actually achieve and work towards achieving throughout the year. The most important one is I want to aim at getting seven hours of sleep every single night. If you're a young person out there, you probably think that is ridiculous. Like, why? That's stupid. But the reason is because that's not happening now. Between all the things I mentioned previously, I get maybe between three and five hours a night on average. And trust me, if you don't know this by now, you will. Sleep is one of the most, if not the most important thing to being able to be consistently productive. When you are able to get the required amount of sleep that your body needs, you're able to do a lot more throughout the day, feel more alert, refreshed, productive, focused, energetic, and it makes everything else in your life easier. 
It makes your body recover faster. It makes your ability to remember and cognitively apply things easier. So that is a big one for me. I've worked in video my entire career. I'm very used to getting not a lot of sleep and functioning on it, but I am now getting to that point where I am trying to make a concerted effort to change that because that is a bad habit. Getting little sleep is not a good trait. If you think that is, just give it time, you'll see. Goal number two is to post more consistently, but instead of going overboard, as I mentioned earlier, and saying, I'm gonna post every single week, I'm going to say that I wanna post at least two times a month where I can leave myself room and time to actually put out quality video. It's often, and is, the reason that it's been four months since my last upload. I know that I don't have millions of subscribers, and I know that I'm not Peter McKinnon or Jared Pollan or Matty Hapoya XYZ, name your favorite creator, but I work in video full time. I teach it to students every single day. And so when I am making video, I am a perfectionist. I want everything to be perfect. I want the lighting to be right. I want the lens and the aperture, the framing to be exact. And when I'm editing, all of that has to come together. The audio has to be pinpoint. I finished putting sound treatment in my little bedroom or closet here to make the audio better. I'm a perfectionist and I recognize that. So for all those reasons, I don't rush content. I don't put content out before it is at a level where I am confident that it is the best that I can make it. I've heard Philip Bloom talk about it a lot. He's one of my favorite content creators. If you have not watched Philip Bloom's channel, you are doing a huge disservice to yourself. That man is so crazy unique. He has creativity oozing out of every orifice. It's mind blowing. He makes the simplest videos, movies. It's amazing. Philip, you're awesome. But what he says all the time is that he doesn't rush to get a video out when embargo lifts. If you've ever wondered why you see so many videos dropping at the same time around a certain subject, that's why it's called an embargo lift. And all the people who have basically been given the product can then release the video at that time. Philip though, doesn't do that. And so his reviews or videos will come out weeks or months later, but it's because he wants to put the time and effort into making it the best that it can be. Essentially, he's a perfectionist and I fully understand that because I'm the exact same way. So those are my two things. Many of you may think, well, that's not a list. That's like a post-it note or I don't know. I can't think of anything that's smaller than a post-it note. But again, my goal with these resolutions are to actually achieve them throughout 2022. I'm not looking to necessarily attain anything numbers wise. I would love for this channel to continue to grow. Four months ago when I dropped my last video, we were at 120 subscribers. And today as we sit here, we are over 200. And for not having posted in four months, that just boggles my mind. It does not make sense to me, but I am so grateful to everybody out there who has hit that subscribe button, liked the content, commented, and encouraged me to keep going. I love making videos. It's a passion and a hobby and my job and all of those things. And I'm not gonna stop anytime soon. And I'm hoping that by making these resolution goals, seven hours of sleep every single night, posting at least two times a month, that from there I can continue to grow and increase all of those numbers. Maybe eventually I'll get like 15 hours of sleep a night and I'll be posting a video every single day. But let's, let's not get crazy. Thank you guys for tuning in. I very much appreciate it as always. If you liked what you saw, feel free to hit subscribe as we continue to grow here together on the channel. My name is Matt. I will see you back here next time on Create, Rinse, Repeat. I have too many keys. Sorry, I keep, bu I keep bumping my pocket and the jingling is annoying me. <sighs> The things we do for content, am I right? So even though Fred is kind of our dog, he's not. He's definitely my fiance's dog. He follows her around like a puppy everywhere she goes. He's very loyal to her. He'll come to me when he wants food or he wants to go outside, but otherwise I'm pretty much invisible. So right now he's kind of like put me down. Let me go back to her. Okay, bye Fred.